Tonight, News 6 investigates a complaint leveled against Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. Now in the hands of the state attorney's office, the complaint claims Hill lives in a low-income apartment complex even though she makes more than $60,000 a year as a commissioner. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval got a hold of that complaint for us tonight. Eric, what did you find out about this? Well, Matt, we found out that this complaint was actually filed by a family member of one of Regina Hill's biggest political rivals this election season, just a couple days before election. Luana Gelser tells me this isn't about politics, though. She says she is concerned that Orlando residents are not only paying Hill's salary, they may also be helping her pay her rent. Timberleaf Boulevard is located inside the landing at Timberleaf Apartments, a complex of 240 units for low-income families. And this is the address Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill put on her forms to run for re-election. According to the complex's owner, the most a resident can make in order to qualify to live there is $39,000 a year, and that's for a four-bedroom apartment. A complaint filed with the state attorney's office this week asks how Hill is allowed to live there if she's making $60,000 a year as a city commissioner. It asks for an investigation into whether she's renting illegally. The complaint includes a copy of the subsidized lease agreement for the unit she says she lives in. It shows she pays $644 a month in rent. And if you look closely, it's missing Hill's name. She's not on the lease. Instead, there's a notarized letter from another woman, which reads, Hill has resided in the home with her since December of 2015, after her daughter's death. Hi, Ms. Hill. We called Commissioner Hill to ask her if she could help us add all this up. We are um, following a story about a complaint that was... Hill interrupted me, saying the complaint was nothing more than a smear campaign. What do you have to say to uh, allegations that you're living in subsidized housing and uh, you make more than 60000 a year? She told me, I am working for the residents of Orlando, and that's all I have to say about this. Now we found out this is the second complaint filed against Hill in the last month with the state attorney's office. The first one was filed by a mother who claimed Hill violated confidentiality when talking about her kids on Facebook. State attorney's office tells us they don't know how long these investigations will take, but election day is on Tuesday. We are live at Orlando City Hall tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt. Eric, thank you.